Morning, Dr. Capra. Ed? What's going on? Oh, uh, I was out walking around yesterday and I found him all by himself at the base of Coffee Pot Mountain. Yeah? I thought maybe you could give him something to help him sleep. Help him sleep? Yeah. He kept me awake half the night, gnawing on all the furniture, maybe a sedative or something. Ed, I'm a doctor, not a veterinarian. Oh, well, maybe you can just keep him then. What? Please, Dr. Kefra. I don't want anything more to do with him. I just can't deal with an infant. He's scaring me. Well, come on, Ed. He's, he's harmless. He's completely helpless. Right. And that's why, Dr. Capra, he's going to come to depend on me. I don't know the first thing about babies. Well, try a baby bottle with some warm milk at first. Warm milk? Yeah. I mean, I'm clearly no authority here, but I, I seem to remember reading about some classic experiments in surrogate parenthood. The more you can convince this little bear that you're its mom, the more likely it'll feed. It's mom. I wanted to see. Dude. Nice bear. You like him? He's yours. Me? Oh, sure. You've already got two kids, Eugene. You're experienced. Ed, I'm Salmon Clan. Bears and salmon, we're natural enemies. It goes way back. You'd be much better off with you people. Oh, but Eugene, I don't know the first thing about child rearing. Heck, I never even read Dr. Spock. Can't you talk to Jenny or something? She put her foot down about a hamster home. No more pets. Oh, Eugene. He's more than a pet, much more. He's a cute little bugger. Yeah, he's really smart, too. I bet you could have house broken in no time. No can do, Ed. Oh, come on, Eugene. I can't sleep at night. Just about the time I start to drop off, oh, he starts crumpling newspapers or whimpering or something. At least think about it. Sorry. I can ask around, though. You never know. Oh, say, Eugene. How about just babysitting for a night? I got Bonnie Norell coming over and well. It's my first date since me and Heather broke up. We're gonna watch Moonstruck. I'm gonna make spaghetti with clam sauce. Sorry, bud. Nobody wants you. Bonnie, we're stoned for tonight, aren't we? I did try to get a sitter. Well, I was thinking maybe I could just get him to sleep early, you know? Well, the smell's not so bad now, Bonnie. I got some air freshener. Uh-huh. No, Bonnie, he's not really a problem. No, I understand. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Okay, I'll talk to you later. That's it. I tried. I'm through. I quit. See this? It's just a coat. I'm not your mother. I'm not even your friend. Okay. Now, I want you to stay in there. Don't go anywhere.
are you looking for, Ed? Oh, Ruthann, we have anything you can spray on furniture, you know, to keep bears off it, like bear away? Why don't you try the dog product? Thanks, Ruthann. Bear! Bear! Did you see a bear come by here? He's pretty short, maybe 15 inches. Sorry, no. Oh. Bear! white water out here, Bear? At the right time of year, this is all going to be chock full of bar-sided chum salmon. And you can fish from right there where you are, or you can wait out here like me, get out here and do it from here. Well, come on out here. You're going to have to learn sometime. What you're going to do is you're going to wait till the salmon jumps, that's when you make your move. Okay, you gotta wait till he jumps. Good bear, atta boy. Okay, bear. Oh, here's something you should know about bear. See these? These are low bush cranberries. They're good. Mmm, easy to reach and lots of nutrients, okay? Now over here, these are bane berries. Yeah, yeah. Black or red. Yeah, they'll make you really sick. Yeah, you don't want those. Blah, blah, blah. This stream right here, this is also really good fishing right around here. your mother over there. You go see her, okay? Go on. Go see your mother. She's been looking for you. She missed you. Go on. Go on. Popcorn. 